Italy, home of the Velline, young girls with long legs and large breasts cavorting on Italian TV programs, sexy and silent. Over the past 10 years, there has been an explosion in the number of Velina in Italy. The most famous Velina are the blonde and the brunette on the Italian nightly news program Striscia la Notizia, the new slithers, that appear six days a week on one of Prime Minister Silvia Berlusconi's channels. In a new film, Videocracy, a camera crew went behind the scenes and filmed the Velina training. Veline are TV showgirls. They're not allowed to speak. Their place is at the side of the host, standing in what is called the velina position. Ilaria Cervelli participated in a television program called Donna Aventura. You can just accept it because if the television is based on this kind of thing, uh, unfortunately you can't do anything because if you're not attractive, then people don't watch TV. So it's, I think it's our culture there is a bit, a bit strange. Italian politician Emma Bonino was a leader in the Italian feminist movement in the 1970s. She is concerned that young girls in Italy are getting the wrong message. And I think that this is not really the light message for, right, for young people, for instance, or young girl who definitely at the end will be convinced that, uh, that the body is enough and that it's, it's irrelevant if you have also some commitment, some hard work, some brain. Berlusconi is credited with bringing the Velina culture to Italy through his multiple TV channels. But now as prime minister, he is accused of taking the Velina culture one step further. He made former Velina and TV starlet Mara Carfagna his minister of equal opportunity and made other candidates for the Italian parliament and the European parliament. And he has invited TV showgirls and starlets to parties at his homes in Rome and Sardinia. A disturbing new documentary, El Corpo delle Donne, Women's Bodies, has drawn attention to the trend. Despite the recent backlash against the Velina culture in Italy, thousands of young girls still dream of becoming Veline, and teenagers and young women flock to competitions held around the country to select the future showgirls. Tricia Thomas, Associated Press, Rome.